Hey guys, it's me, Miss Norris, and today I'd like to share a fun read aloud with you of the story Andrew's Loose Tooth. Andrew's Loose Tooth was written in 1998 by Robert Munch and illustrated by Michael Marchenko, and I hope and it's a story about losing a tooth, as you might have guessed. If you're ready to hear the story, I'm ready to share it with you. Here we go. Andrew's Loose Tooth. I'm going to show you this. I'm not exactly sure what's going on there, but I've never seen one of those on the street, but I'd kind of like to. When Andrew came downstairs, there were three big red apples in the middle of the table. And even though he had a loose tooth, he decided to eat an apple. So he reached out picked up an apple, shined it on his shirt, took a bite, and yelled, Yo! Mommy, mommy, do something about this tooth! It hurts so much I can't even eat my apple! Now, how many of you have ever had a loose tooth and tried to eat an apple? Or even something else crunchy? It's very, very tricky. So I'm going to give you a close-up on this one. Andrew's mother opened up his mouth and looked inside. Ooh, 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 she said. It's a loose tooth. I know what to do. She took hold of the tooth with both hands and pulled as hard as she could. But the tooth did not come out. Oh, Andrew, she said, I just can't get that tooth out. Why don't you try another apple? That might make your tooth come out. Have you ever had your tooth pulled out like this? I have not. That looks sca a little scary. So, Andrew reached out picked up an apple, shined it on his shirt, took a bite, and yelled, Yo! Daddy, Daddy, do something about this tooth! It hurts so much I can't even eat my apple! So, Andrew's father opened up his mouth and looked inside. Ooh, 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 he said. It's a loose tooth, and I know what to do. You can see Andrew's dad looks a little freaked out by how, how much Andrew yelled. And, and, so, and so does his sister. Yikes! He got a big pair of pliers and took hold of Andrew's tooth. Then he put his foot on Andrew's nose and pulled as hard as he could. But the tooth didn't come out. Oh, Andrew, he said, this tooth is stuck. Why don't you try another apple? That'll make your tooth come out. I'm not so sure, and I don't think Andrew it looks like he's so sure now either. Both of his sisters think this is pretty funny. So, Andrew reached out picked up an apple, shined it on his shirt, took a bite, and yelled, Yo! Mommy, Daddy, Mommy, Daddy, do something about this tooth that hurts so much I can't even eat my apple! So they called the dentist. So Mom and Dad are both on the phone. Andrew's freaking out. His sister is calling somebody as well. And his other sister looks like she's starting to get a little annoyed. Oh, because, you know, she's lost her teeth before and she didn't freak out, maybe. I don't know. Sometimes big sisters are like that. <clears throat> the dentist came in a shiny black car. He opened up Andrew's mouth, looked inside, and said, Ooh, 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 it's a loose tooth, and I know what to do. So, I don't know about you, but the dentist has never come to my house. This must be a real tooth emergency. 
<clears throat> he got a big, long rope and tied one end to Andrew's tooth. Andrew said, I know what you're going to do. I know what you're going to do. You're going to tie the end of the rope to the door, and then you're going to slam the door. No, said the dentist. I'm going to tie it to my car. <laughs> oh, could you imagine your tooth being yanked out by a car? Ah, I'm not even going to lose any more teeth, and it freaks me out. He tied the other end of the rope to his car and drove away as fast as he could. When he got to the end of the rope, his whole car fell apart. The dentist stood there just holding the steering wheel. Now that is some tooth. Not only did it not come out, but it made his whole, the dentist's whole car fall apart. Maybe it's just not time for that tooth to come out. <clears throat> then Andrew's mother and his father and the dentist all said, Andrew, Andrew, that tooth will not come out. You just can't eat your breakfast. So Andrew sat out in the front yard looking very sad. His best friend, Lewis, came along and said, Andrew, what's the matter? Oh, said Andrew, my mother can't get this tooth out. My father can't get this tooth out. The dentist can't get this tooth out. And I can't eat my breakfast. Ooh, 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 said Lewis. I know what to do. All right, so Mom tried. Dad tried, the dentist tried, and nobody could get his tooth out. But his friend Lewis says, I know what to do. You think Lewis knows what to do? We'll see. Lewis went into Andrew's house and called the tooth fairy on the phone. The tooth fairy roared right up. I'm sorry, roared up right away on a large motorcycle. Andrew looked at the tooth fairy and said, If you think you're going to use that motorcycle to pull out my tooth, you are nuts. What do you think I am, said the tooth fairy, a dentist? So is this how any of you pictured the tooth fairy? Look at she's even got little teeth on her on her motorcycle and on her bag and on her jacket and even on her horn. Maybe that's what the tooth fairy does with all those teeth. Uses them as motorcycle parts. She pulled Andrew's tooth with one hand and the tooth did not come out. She pulled Andrew's tooth with two hands and the tooth did not come out. She got out a large, she got a large hammer off her motorcycle and clanged Andrew's loose tooth. The hammer broke into two pieces and the tooth still did not come out. Incredible, said the tooth fairy. This is the first tooth ever that I can't pull out. I guess you just can't eat your breakfast. Hold it, said Lewis. I have an idea. So even the tooth fairy is about to give up, but not his friend Lewis. Lewis went into Andrew's house and got a pepper shaker. Then he pushed back Andrew's head and sprinkled pepper up Andrew's nose. Andrew went, ah, 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 achoo! See what happened? He 
smoothed out his tooth. And sneezed that tooth all the way across town. So you can see it's going all the way through. The, it went through a donut, around a trash can, through a newspaper, and it's still going. But the tooth fairy still got her tooth. Woo! Look at her riding with that net. Look at everybody look, looking up at the tooth fairy and kind of like, what is going on? And then Andrew and his friend Lewis were able to eat all the apples they wanted. The end. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you really enjoyed the story of Andrew and his loose tooth. And I really hope you enjoyed seeing that tooth fairy on a motorcycle. How fun. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button at the bottom of the page. If you are already a subscriber, thank you so much for your support. It really means a lot to me. If you're not a subscriber yet, please click that red subscribe button down there under, the, under this page. And please don't forget to click the bell so that you're notified when there's new content. I hope to see you all again real soon. Bye-bye.